Up next, the Trailblazers take it on the Suns. For Portland, it's been a bumpy road as of late, dropping four of their last five. Suns, Blazers, and we'll be right back after this. Sports, get ready for some NBA action. Brian Anderson here, alongside Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson, with Allie LaForce joining us from the floor. Here's a look at some stats for Bull Bull. And over the last 10 games, he's been hitting the boards hard. He's been a different guy when it comes to rebounding, out there battling and fighting. It's great to see that kind of hustle. So let's take a look at the Phoenix Suns starting lineup. Heading the backcourt, it's Meal and Booker. Then it's Bull Bull. Then it's Mikhail Bridges. And it's Sanders in at the four-man spot. And for the Trailblazers. Inside, it's Grant and Nurkic. Henderson out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Anthony in at the three, the small forward. All right, Grant, we're now in the middle of the season. Lots of miles traveled by everyone, including broadcasters. You got a favorite NBA city? Hey, B.A., you are spot on, especially when it comes to us broadcasters. But a favorite NBA city? You know, I've always liked Atlanta. And it'll be the Trailblazers off the tip. Henderson against Beal. Anthony with a screen on Beal. Pass to Anthony. Now here's Grant from deep three-point range. And it's Devin Booker with a rebound. Here's Beal. He's covered by Grant. Count that one. Great decision making from Booker. Realizing one of his guys is open and whips the pass to him. Anthony feeling it out a bit. Pass to Grant. Clock at six. 19 footer. And the jumper is good. Not the shot I expected him to take or make, but hey, look, joke's on me. He hit it. Booker for three. Can't get his first shot of the game to fall. Grant, left side. Holiday with the ball. Oh, they've got their eyes on him. Calling the foul right away. First personal foul. First team foul. Here's Henderson. In his last outing, eight points for him. Shoots over Beal. Yeah, nice defensive effort there from Beal. As a leader, that's how you inspire the rest of your team. Back to Bull. Here's Sanders. Off target from outside. The Trailblazers have gone one for three so far. Outside for Grant. Booker against Holiday. Anthony left side. Bowl grabs the board. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Booker, good. Booker. This is Booker, Booker at his most dangerous. No hesitation right there. On offense, here are the Trailblazers. It's a three-point game. 
Grant, usually the Suns rack up lots of assists. They're a team that values ball movement. Oh, B.A., that's how you create quality looks, by snapping the ball around. It also tells you something about how selfless these guys are. And the three-pointer goes. And <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at it. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Now here's Booker. His last outing, he had 18 points. Whether it's off the dribble or on the catch, it don't matter. Booker is one of the most proficient mid-range shooters. Anthony against Bridges. Crafty move. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. No foul. Second team foul. At the line for your trailblazers. Marcelo Anthony. One shot. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. Well, looking back, it wasn't too long ago, Grant. The Blazers had an eight-year playoff streak. NBA, that's no easy task. Some great years, but couldn't get over the hump. Now I think it's time to reset and build around their youth. Now here's Holiday. He's been contributing over 15 a game. Back to Anthony. Over Bridges. Anthony misses. For Phoenix, they've gone four of six in the first quarter. Here's Sanders. From outside, off the mark. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Outside for Grant. First quarter of play, and just over three and a half minutes in, and it gets that one. The inside defense gets right up on Grant, but he stays cool and finds a way through to his finish. For three, Booker. Portland grabs the miss. They come into this one following the loss to Minnesota. They had a tough time beyond the arc. A lot of their possessions ended in missed threes. They were bricking, they were missing, they were airballing, they were doing everything. Brutal night shooting for them when they couldn't even hit the broad side of the ball. They couldn't hit the ocean if they fell out of a boat. You know, Grant, thinking back to those 2021 finals, the Suns coming so close to their first championship. Think about it, B.A. Phoenix had a 2-0 lead over the Bucks, but Giannis then decided to take over. And still, I think that taste of the finals was great for Devin Booker and the Suns. First free throw is good. on both. And Grant, this season the Blazers adding a G League affiliate in North Portland. The NBA, I mean the second to last team to do it. And the Suns next season will make it 30 for 30. Now there's a G League counterpart operating under each of the league's teams. Yeah, something Henderson is still working on. Getting his three-point shot to be a little more consistent. Booker with it. Guarded now by Holiday. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Beal's got five points. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. And here's Anthony. He'll bring it up for Portland. Trailing by two. Let's it go from the wing. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Their last encounter was in Phoenix. They really struggled to find their footing throughout the night. But towards the end, they got into a flow and almost won it. You know when things aren't going your way, it's tough to stick it out. So I applaud them for hanging in there. Portland has gone two for three from outside the arc. Henderson outside. That three's off the mark. Phoenix has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Pass to Beal. Bridges outside. Launches a three. 
Suns keep it alive. And the shot goes in. Seven points in the game. How about the level of activity this dude just brings to the glass? Just refusing to give up on plays. And his teammates, trust me, they appreciate the effort. Now here's Anthony. He had nine points in his last time out. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And now it's time to take a look at who the top rookie passers were over the last month. The fourth spot held by Scoot Henderson. I really like how he sees the floor. A selfless distributor who enjoys hitting those guys in their spots. And the Suns making a change here. Johnson's checked in. For Phoenix, they've gone 6 of 11 so far. Up top, Booker. Defended by Henderson. Booker no good. Well, I, that's what you get when you go for style points with a fadeaway. And look, he paid the price. And stolen by Booker. And stolen by Anthony. Takes the three. And he missed again. Now one of five. His consistency just hasn't been there this quarter in terms of his shooting. Booker, the pass to bowl. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. The assist. Booker's got three assists tonight. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. Anthony outside. Outside Holiday. Six to shoot. Shoots over Bridges. The shot by Holiday, no good. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Pass to Sanders. Fires the three. Portland grabs the miss. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. It's stolen by Johnson. And now the Suns. Fast break. Reporter Bridges. Holiday grabs the miss. Portland trailing here. Henderson with it, and Johnson picks him up defensively. Anthony against Booker. They still need this. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Personal foul. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. At the line for your Trailblazers, Carmelo Anthony. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Anthony. Gordon, he's checked in for the Suns. Timeout call, Portland. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something out that can get them a clean look at the basket. Taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Bradley Beal. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. That one misses. The Suns leading. Outside Johnson. And he gets the bucket. Just an outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Portland has gone two of five from deep. Anthony outside. Pass to Nurkic. The three. Rebounded by Johnson. For Phoenix, they've gotten eight of 16 attempts to fall. Now Booker. Bowl, screen on Henderson. Here's Booker. 
From down in the low post, it goes. And now it's a nine-point Phoenix lead. Crafty play by Booker inside, navigating to a point-blank look at the basket. There's a screen by Nurkic. Holiday passes to Nurkic. Around the league, we're increasingly seeing former players in front office positions. It's so true, B.A., and we need even more former players in those roles. They bring a perspective that a lot of front offices just don't have. They can add value with their experience. I really like this move. Shooting two. That free throw misses. Yes, yeah, someone who has battled injuries. Great to see Yusuf Nurkic out there tonight. And he sinks the second. And here are the Suns. They're on a 16 to seven run. Here's Booker. He takes it in, up and in on the layup. Booker's got nine points. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Out to the wing. Now here's Anthony, tightly guarded. Henderson, the pass to Holiday, five to shoot. Up and over Gordon. Goes back up. And it's laid in by Nurkic. And for Nurkic, one of his key attributes, the ability to keep the play alive on the glass. Gordon outside. Back to Booker. Count that one. He's now five for eight. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Here's Holiday. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Minnesota. And a big part of that was his aggressiveness drawing contact and getting to the line. Fires in the triple. From year to year, Holiday is a little inconsistent from three, but the defense has to respect his shot. Hooker's shot is good. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Now Anthony, hovering around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been huge for them. Count that bucket. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. And one thing that makes Devin Booker so dangerous as a scorer, his ability to create for others, Richard. Yeah, you have to respect his passing, which prevents the defense from loading up against him. In fact, coming into the league, some scouts liked him as a point guard. You just gotta love watching a big man hustle on the glass. This is what his team expects and needs from him. Here's Henderson. He can't get that one to fall. Good work defensively by Gordon. Right wing, here's Sanders. Another three for Phoenix. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Holiday surveying the floor. Pass to Nurkic. Henderson with it. Grant with a screen on Booker. Henderson misses. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Suns. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And, and another thing, they found the open man. Really playing unselfish basketball, moving the ball around there on the perimeter. That free throw good from Booker. 
The thing about Booker is he rarely has an off night. He's one of the most consistent shooters in the league. A big group substitution here for Portland. Brown, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Little comes in for Grant. Sharp, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. And Anthony Simons subbed in for Henderson. He's perfect from the line this time. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. And here's Anthony. He'll bring it up for the Trailblazers. 15-point game. Forty-one seconds left in the first. Just five to shoot. Here's Little. And it looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, guys get away with this all the time. But on this occasion, he got caught. Johnson finds Booker. Ooh, cans the tough leaner from the outside. Booker's got 20 points. He's putting on a show this quarter, and the team's feeding off his energy. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Anthony, left side. to the corner and hits it. Anthony's got a Devin Booker. He's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for Phoenix. He's been productive scoring the ball. He's got 20 points so far. More 2K action in just a moment. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, the Suns enjoying a nice lead here. Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. And as long as the threes are dropping, you've got to keep launching them. We've got Nasir Little. Sharp out there with Anthony Simons. Then it's Moses Brown, and it's Anthony in at the three. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Well, through all the stress and the turmoil of recent years, Bradley Beal's one of those players who is willing to open up and acknowledge the strain. He said, quote, it's okay to feel down, to talk about it, to be a human. A lot of times I think I'm a superhero or I could kind of figure things out on my own, but it's all right to rely on people. Brian? Yeah, you have to. It's all part of being a great teammate, no doubt. Thanks, Ali. And winning a championship in 2016. Talk about what it was like to play alongside LeBron. I'm going to be really honest, you know, playing with Jason Kidd and how intelligent he is and how he sees the game, playing with Tim Duncan and seeing how he dominates on the defensive end and is just a steady force on the offensive end. For me, LeBron James was the one player that combined every great skill of every great player that I had ever played with. No good on that one. Gordon, he's checked in for Booker. And the second free throw is good. Phoenix with the ball. Gordon, the pass to Bridges. And another basket for Phoenix. Look at that catch and shoot ability from Bridges. Not all forwards have that skill. Outside Little. 
on the wing, Simons. Anthony outside. This one for three. Counted from distance. Anthony's got 11 points. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Gordon on the wing. No points so far. Here's Bridges. Gets it to drop. Now Here's two of four. Bridges. Yeah, relentless worker. Bridges so tough inside. Anthony with a screen on Gordon. Outside Little. Back to Simons. For three. The rebound by Eubanks. Yeah, no, he usually makes you pay from that range. Bridges finds Gordon. Here's Okogi. He had nine points in his last time out. And Anthony, here we go. A chance to check out the Phoenix Suns' upcoming schedule. On Tuesday, they'll kick off a homestand, starting with the Sacramento Kings. And then Friday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. They have a nice string of home contests coming up. This team has been fantastic in their own house. So a great chance to put together a few wins right now. And he knocks down the first one. The Suns making a switch here. Beals checked in. And Anthony drops them both. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. The lead is 15. Eubanks in the high post. Pass to Beal. Portland grabs the miss. Little passes to Simons. Takes it inside. Got a hand on it. Out of bounds. Trailblazers ball as Portland keeps possession. So for the Blazers, Grant's checked in for Brown, and Drew Holiday is subbed in for Little. Jeremy Grant, Drew Holiday. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Sharp, no good.
And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. And the basket by Bridges. How about Johnson with the hot pass? Good job seeing that open. Now a timeout called by Portland. through at the free throw line. These are the teams that are getting it done from there. The Suns third. And this is a team that knocks down their free throws at an elite rate. Whoever they go up against should always try to avoid fouling them at all cost. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Anthony outside. Oh, sweet move. And he lays it up and in. Anthony's got 15. And he's doing everything he can offensively to lift them out of this hole. But I'm not sure his hot shooting can do it alone. Knocked loose. Johnson passes to Eubanks. Beal from outside. Anthony grabs the board. The Trailblazers have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Holiday. Oh, rejected by Beal. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Beal. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Oh, <laughs> showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sale. Number 23, Michael Sanders. And so here's Portland. They trail by 16. There's Simons with a three. The rebound by Eubanks. Phoenix has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Beal, the pass to Johnson. Here's Sanders. Steps back. Bridges misses. The defense really made this an uphill battle, and he just couldn't get there. Simons outside. The ball's knocked loose. And now the Suns fast break. Here's Sanders. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Throw it down. Come on. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. Now here's Anthony. 15 points in the game. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after it. Johnson finds Beal. Back to Johnson. Pass to Beal. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Grant's got four rebounds now. Lots can be said about Bradley Beal scoring Grant. There's more to his game than that. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the shooting is just the most eye-catching part. He also averages some of the assist numbers and plays at a high effort level off ball or on defense. And so here's Phoenix. The Blazers making their last shot. Eubanks gets the bucket. It looked like he was playing against his little brother out there the way he just went right over him with his height. 
They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Grant outside. Here's Holiday. Oh, rejected by Beal. And he gets it back. Four on the clock. Here's Simons. Sanders with a rebound. And this is the type of game you just throw away as a player. He has yet to score a point and looks completely flustered. And it's in there. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Now here's Holiday. He has six. Deal with it. Guarded now by Holiday. Pass to Sanders. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for Portland. Devin Booker, he's checked in for the Suns. At the line for Portland. And one shot. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one falls for Simons. And Booker's got the ball here for the Phoenix Suns. 22 was their biggest lead. A tough loss coming against the Lakers in their last game play. They hit a couple big shots, but overall, there was a lack of consistency. Just not their night at the offensive end. And tonight, I expect them to play better offensively, try to get some closer looks. Grant outside. Pass to Anthony. And here's Nurkic. Shot clock at five. From the top of the key, the Suns clear it. Sanders has got his fourth rebound in this one. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. Beal against Holiday. Some solid defense from Holiday. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Back to Nurkic. After the outside. And yep, it's good. Anthony's got 11 here in the quarter alone. And he's single-handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? It's Booker on the wing. Shoots. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Beal's got three assists now in this one. And we've kind of come to expect this performance from Booker every night. His scoring is just that consistent. Now here's Grant. He's coming off a 13-point game against Minnesota. And from the field after that one, three for four now. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Here's Beal. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It goes on Jeremy Grant. I like when Beal looks to score inside because it forces the D to get physical with him. Bradley Beal, two shots. One falls for him. What I admire about Beal is his work ethic, his desire to keep improving year after year. For the Trailblazers, Littles checked in for Grant. Sharp comes in for Anthony, and it's Henderson in for Simons. Metu, he's checked in for Phoenix. Okogi comes in for Bridges. Both good from the line that time. Portland has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Pass to Nurkic. Here's Sharp. Oh, a 
Hey, how wow. about that? And he hammers in the reverse slam. Come on now, guys. That's flat out insane. Hey, when's the last time you saw a jam like that? Here's Metu. To the inside, Booker. And Booker with the jam. And with his skill, you kind of forget that Booker is six foot five and can get to the rim with ease. Booker against Henderson. Nurkic a screen on Booker. Henderson misses. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniffed that one out. Beal outside. Back to Booker. Pass to Beal. Shot clock at six. The Suns need to get off a shot. Here's Metu. Holiday grabs the miss. Holiday's got five rebounds tonight. Outside Little. Back to Holiday. Henderson outside. Pass to Nurkic. Henderson against Beal. Beyond the arc. Henderson misses. They're losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. Sanders, no good. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. They swipe it. In transition, here come the Suns. He gets it in there. Booker's got 10 points in the quarter. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Holiday passes to Nurkic. Pass to Sharp. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. And the Blazers making a change here. Anthony's checked in. Bowl, he's checked in for the Suns. Mikhail Bridges comes in for Okogi. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And the free throw, no good. And here in the second quarter, he's starting to work himself to the free throw line. That's a good move. Buries it from three. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. Now here's Anthony. He's got 19. And now the Suns fast break. Here's Sanders. And that one Deep goes in foul. as he's fouled. It'll be three points second if he converts the free throw. Foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Phoenix, Sanders. At the line for one. And that one misses. Portland has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. The shot's good. Holiday's got eight. Yeah, in the paint, Holiday's agility makes him tough to contain. He just needs a little space to go to work. Here's Bowl. Yes, and it's Booker with the setup. That's been the story of their offense so far, getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Holiday passes to Anthony. Back to Holiday. 55 seconds left to play in the first half. Booker for three. Drops in the three. Booker's got 36 points. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Over to the wing. Anthony right side. Sanders with a rebound. Sanders has got six rebounds now in the game. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. First personal foul, third team foul. Shooting for Phoenix, Sanders. Two shots.
first free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. There's 25 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Now here's Anthony. He's covered closely. Just five to shoot. Oh, and again, unable to change momentum here. And so it's Phoenix building a mountain of a lead up 31 points as this quarter concludes. Well, when you win the battle of turnovers, you typically win the battle of possessions. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks a lot. I'm with Frank Vogel and Coach. What's going to be critical in the second half to get this win? Gonna just be us. Okay, we got to guard the free point line, keep off the free throw line, make them make contested twos. We got to move the basketball offensively. Your expectations are always high defensively. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter.